Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's been so 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 long that I did anything with acrylic pouring and uploaded videos for you but today is the day that I'm gonna do one again and this is gonna be just the background for a uh, Pete the Cat painting. I've done some of those before so nothing really fancy. It's gonna be one big swirl in the middle and a few different around it for a little bit of a pop up I have some uh, deco art drizzling metallics and I'm hoping to get some pearls that come to the top some swirls on pearls there are other videos of course and in general uh, as long as I'm not here a lot again I really appreciate if you watch back some of the older videos and if you're new into acrylic pouring there's a complete basics playlist with shopping list mixing etc and all you need to know so for now we're gonna go swirl really simple black white gold there's a little bit of an or a silver type of paint that i'm gonna add in but that's already it so i hope you're gonna enjoy that So for a swirl, the paint should be a little bit thinner than normal. This mine is not a thickened overnight, so I hope that it's still going to be fine. But yeah, you just layer it. You can just put it in the middle and that's it. But you can also more careful make circles at the side and it's not going to mix so much from the beginning. Also something I forgot to mention here, this is not pure white or black paint, but there's a little bit of enamel in there which gives the cloud effect. I just basically, because I haven't poured so long, need to use some of the paint. So we're mixing a bit metallics, normal paint, enamel. Yeah, all these kind of things. For some techniques you would cover the canvas with white already, outside Dutch pores or open cups or I can't think of many things. Uh, but if you use a technique with an, where you use a lot of paint, you don't need to do that. And if you really, really say, yeah, but I don't want to do something, you can also just slightly spray it with water that it has a bit of a slippery thing going on already. very thick that comes from the enamel. Enamel is not pure water paint it has some touch of oily thing going on so so for pearls you need that metallic paint and you want to put that under your top layer paint so mostly you use that also with the swirl so I want this as a bottom and mainly by uh, pour it to, by tilting it you end up with the pearls at the side. I was worried that I have too much black, but now I think I have too much white, but again, it's a background, so it would probably not be the coolest design for a finished painting, but that's also not what I was going for. So let's see when we tilt it, but you can already see, perhaps, if you're watching on a big screen, there's no silicone in it, but it gives really weird patterns in the cup just from the combination of materials. I also used Floetor and another cheap Pouring medium, so yeah, let's see how that turns out.
Yeah, it's very thick, so it goes very bad. Oh. So if you really want to figure out swirls, please watch the video that I did on a jewelry box because that turned out fantastic. This mixture of all mediums that I had, you see it's hardly moving. Um, my gosh. So this is not the, the typical pouring look you don't have here. But if you're just looking for some cool abstract thing, this of course also works with whatever rests of paint you have. It will for sure turn out cool. But yeah, it depends what you're going for. So as I said, there's no silicone, but there's lots of tiny cells. That's from the oily enamel. I don't see uh, any pearls yet, so perhaps we need to sometimes wait for that. But normally they come out when the top layer of paint is thinner, so that could just be the reason that it can't come through. I'm going to torch it now, but for a background I think this is good. It's just eventually still a little bit on the dark side, but uh, I can figure out something for that. There are some cool elements in there up here. Perhaps I'm going to show you in a second. Just let me do it. Okay, so you might wonder why do you even torch without silicone? Because your torching is to pull up the silicone oil to the top to get cells. But this is also to uh, pop up air bubbles, which would you, it's not pretty, but also when you varnish, um, that would not not be good. But in, I'm also not going to varnish, but also, yeah, in this case, um, I'm looking for warming up the paint a slightly bit because then the, sometimes the pearls come out. The pearls also don't get desperate if it doesn't work. Check out the video on that. Uh, they sometimes turn up after 10 minutes. They need a while to come up. I see a little tiny ones, but I don't think they're going to come through. Okay, so even uh, if this is not the typical acrylic pour, I'm pretty happy um, with it for my background and mixing all this... this um, materials together I'm just crossing my fingers that it's gonna dry without cracking okay thanks for watching and I hope to see you back soon